Imagine a play to earn Pokemon on mobile. Me personally, I wouldn't leave my house and well, the time has come where fantasies become realities. Let me give a warm welcome to Pikamoon, the Pokemon-esque play-to-earn blockchain game that has sold out three phases of its pre-sale already. Raising over $6 million, we are waiting for the Pika token to go live now, and in this video I will explain what Pikamoon is, how it works, why it could very well be the next big game 5 protocol, and of course everything you need to know about the ultimate gaming gem, Pika. Now, I would also like to say a huge thank you to everyone who shows support on our channel. Very soon, I'm going to be personally doing a giveaway on this channel, so stay tuned. But before we begin with this video, welcome back again. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. And just to let you know that this is a sponsored video by the Pika Moon team. Now be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at AltCryptogens for daily crypto content. And check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles, and everything crypto related. Okay, let's jump straight into the video. Now my friends, we're officially on the Pikamoon website, which is pikamoon.io. I'm gonna leave all the official links down below to their website, to their X page, give them a follow, 26,000 followers and growing. And I'm also going to leave the link to their game. So if you wanna play their beta, which is out now on all mobile devices. So if you're interested in playing, simply come over to this page or go over to your phone, go onto the app store and download the Pikamoon game. Now we're gonna go through everything you need to know about this game. So why don't we start with what is Pikamoon? We're officially on the Pikamoon white paper. It's got a very detailed docs, which I absolutely love. And I think it's essential to every protocol as it gives us a good insight into what's to come and how it works. So I'm not going to go through all of the white paper. However, I'm going to pick out the best bits because it's going to help us understand what it is and how it works. So Pikamoon is building a metaverse like you've never seen before. And we're going to go through the roadmap, which is on the roadmap, which is going to include gorgeous visuals, immersive experiences, thrilling battles, and an epic story that awaits you. So build and customize your own party from six different elemental types and 252 different species of Pikamoon. So on the main website, if we scroll down, we can see that we've got Earth, fire, water, rock, electric, and air. Here you can see a few of the NFTs that are collectible within each of these elements. So you've got fire, water, rock, air, and earth, like I said, all of which can be better to battle against each other. So for example, water would be fire, fire would be earth, and then you see what I'm saying. So it works exactly like Pokemon. You collect all of the different elements or you choose your element, and then you would simply use the best moves against each character. So when you come to battle against each Pikamoon, each Pikamoon will have different set of moves and abilities, which I will go through back on this stock. So as you can see here, use them to battle your way up the ranks. Explore the vast vestas of Driva, from the ash-choked flame empire to the depths of the stone duchy. Protect the world from terrible threats either alone or alongside your friends and carve your name in the annals of history. And you can get started for free simply by downloading the game. Absolutely fantastic. And the future of Web3 Gaming is just right here by clicking this button, my friends. Now, Pikamoon also offers a premier play to earn experience, whether you're storming dungeons, uncovering ancient secrets, or wheeling and dealing items on the marketplace, there's a huge opportunity to earn Pika while playing. So essentially, guys, what they're doing is they're going to be building a metaverse that is their long-term future, similar to how the Pokemon world works, but it's going to be bigger and better. And obviously having the play to earn mechanism makes it a world that we won't want to leave. Well, that's me personally anyway. However, for those who want to get started, they have a full setup guide to show you exactly how to start. It's very simple though, you don't really need to go through these docs, but for those who do get confused, everything is here that you need to know. They've got a quick start guide, or you can go through everything individually if you want to set up a team, if you want to understand the item shop or how battling works. Everything is in this docs page. Now, once you download the game, you simply want to choose either an Android or iOS device, either or, which we all have, or most of us anyway. Once you do that, you simply want to create an account, input your username and a password, and then build your team of Pikamoons. So you're provided with a default team once you start. Currently, you can choose between six different Pikamoon elements, like I said, which are fire, water, earth, electric, air, and rock. Now, some Pikamoon are resistant to certain elements and weak to others, like I also mentioned. So like I said, water would beat fire and so on. Now with your legendary team built, all that remains is to test them in the flames of battle. Hit the play button, giving you the choice between AI battles and multiplayer. Whether you fancy challenging a computer opponent or one of your fellow players, all it takes is a push of a button and you're good to go. It's all about collecting Pikamoons and battling against other Pikamoons. And right now that is all we can do. However, soon we'll be able to explore the Pikaverse, their very own metaverse while using our NFTs. So obviously it's a good time to get in early and we could get in before the game goes absolutely viral. 
However, how the game mechanics work in a nutshell, it works by exploring, capturing a Pikamoon, battling your Pikamoons with other Pikamoons, other AIs or other players, earning those rewards, purchasing upgrades for your NFTs to make them better, going back to explore the worlds of the Pikaverse, capturing more Pikamoon, battling them again and then earning rewards and then going back in this cycle just earning and earning and having fun so this is fantastic and of course you're probably wondering where can you sell these nfts and pika moons the marketplace so marketplace economics pika is the native currency of the pikaverse users need pika moon tokens to purchase anything in the marketplace Everything on the marketplace can only be bought with Pika Moon tokens from health to transportation and even cosmetics. So essentially guys, this will give ultimate utility for the Pika token. If you're working hard in the Pikaverse to upgrade those Pika Moons and you fancy selling them to people that haven't got the energy or time to buy legendary Pika Moon NFTs, then obviously you can sell your NFTs or you can even sell the cosmetics, the health items or any other in-game items to sell, giving you more of a chance to earn. However, for those who want to know more about the play to earn mechanism, within the game basically you can either battle explore the open world craft different nfts or in-game items and obviously trade them everything is sold and traded with pika obviously when you're in the game and you're battling other pika moons you're going to have the chance to obviously earn pika tokens now another way by earning from pika moon is by playing the game and ranking up on the leaderboard the higher you get on the leaderboard the more you're going to earn Pika Moon features both monthly and yearly payouts to the top 100 players. Depending on your ranking at the end of the given time frame, you'll receive incredible rewards. Pika, marketplace items and rare in-game treasures. So guys, thank goodness it's not the top 10 or top 5 players that can only get rewarded. By allowing the top 100, this allows many people to compete for the top spots to gain some unbelievable loot. Now to be honest, I think this is probably one of the best ways of getting rare and profitable items and obviously large amounts of Pika tokens because obviously Pika Moon is looking to reward the best and most loyal players. So if you have what it takes, climb the leaderboard my friends. Now challenges, and there's another way of earning. So basically Pika Moon will add some challenges every now and then, giving you the chance to earn from achievements, which when you complete them, you are rewarded with Pika tokens. If it's a simple challenge, you will get small amounts. If it's a bigger challenge, you will get bigger amounts. Now in the world of Draver within the Pikaverse, players will actually receive Pika whenever they visit a location for the first time. So whether it's an easy to reach area that has no danger at all, or if there's an extreme danger, you will either receive smaller or bigger amounts. So if you have to fight your way with dangerous Pika Moons, then obviously you're going to get more Pika tokens. If it's a nice little safe area with a little friendly village and no one to an attack, then you're going to receive a smaller amount of Pika. Another way of earning is obviously through trading. Pika Moon offers players the ability to trade amongst one another, either directly in-game or through the use of the marketplace. For the entrepreneurs among us, you can sell items obtained through corrupted instances or attempt to flip items for a profit that you've obtained from other players. If you need to go through corrupted instances, it's all under the play to earn section. Once again, the final way to earn within the Pikaverse at the moment are tournaments. Now coming soon, we have got tournaments for the Pika Moon, which will enable you to, to battle against the best players within the Pikaverse. So if you have your Pika Moon NFTs upgraded to the max and you think you're ready, compete against other players and win huge rewards. So there's going to be players hosted tournaments introductionary tournaments to those who want to experience the competitive side of pika moon for the first time we've got the draver cup which you will actually need a team of six nft pika moons and you'll need to pay an entry fee you've got the god circuit which is full of legendary hosts epic live streams and the fight of the year as players face off in what's expected to be game Fire's biggest esport event now guys this is where it's all going to take place this is basically going to be the champions league final the finale of all the best and biggest pika moons battling in one tournament in one competition in order to win the biggest pika prize pool now i think this is absolutely incredible there's so many ways to earn within the pika verse and there's probably going to be so many more coming as well every single day guys you can log into pika moon as well and earn some daily rewards whether that's in-game items or pika tokens pika moon will always have something up for grabs so if you're loyal and you log in every single day you'll get bigger and better rewards so how do you get started with this game guys well basically you're just going to have to go over to your app store like i said at the beginning of the video whether that's on your iphone or android you can simply download it it tells you all the system requirements here guys you can actually use most of the older softwares however it's recommended to use the latest update for the best experience now like i said you've got to choose your faction once you start the game whether that's fire earth water or whatever it is and then once you do guys you've got to start leveling up your nfts then you battle against other pika moons in these arenas as you can see and it works exactly like pokemon i don't know if you ever 
played it. So basically, if I had a wind strike, I could wind strike the other Pika Moon. And then say if he was a fire Pika Moon, he would be able to hit me with a fire strike, for example, like Charizard would hit me with fire, or Blastoise would hit me with water. It works exactly like that. And that is exactly what they're trying to build. They've obviously been inspired by Pokemon, and I love it. Because why not use something that works already? People love Pokemon, and people obviously want a play-to-earn version of Pokemon. Well, I do anyway, and I know I'm probably speaking for millions of other people. However, this is not financial advice, but I think this is a great opportunity. The Pika token has sold out already, guys, so we can't actually get in right now, which is a shame. If we go over to this Buy Pika page, you'll see that Phase 3 has sold out. We can see that 15 million Pika tokens have already been bought with $6 million raised. Guys, this is incredible, and it shows the opportunity that is behind the Pika Moon token. However... What I'm going to be doing is, guys, I'm going to be waiting for the launch. They're going to be launching on major centralized exchanges from the get-go. Hopefully, I'll be able to buy it on the DEX before the token goes parabolic. However, for those who do have the token, you can actually stake from the get-go. And I might actually do that when I buy tokens or if I buy tokens, depending on how the token launches. Now, you can stake and depending on how long you stake for, you'll get bigger or smaller rewards. So, say if I stake for three months, I'll get around 12%. If I stake for 12 months, I'll get 77%. So, you see how it goes. Now, what is the Pika token and what utilities does it hold exactly? Well, you already know that Pika is the native token used in the marketplace, obviously to earn within the game. However, Pika can be used to purchase special in-game items within the Pika Moon store, whether it's either magic boosts or health potions, weapons, energy, and so on. Another utility is obviously being able to use it in the marketplace, which we've gone through already. Another utility is obviously the staking, which we just showed you as well, which enables you to stake your Pika tokens for 3, 6, or 12 months. This will be coming after the Pika launch, so it's not enabled right now obviously the token's not out yet and for the peakonomics or also known as the tokenomics you can see a full breakdown which i think is superb you can see all the pre-sale rounds that have been completed we've got 30 percent for the pre-sale rounds and they raised six million dollars we've got 7.5 percent for liquidity we've got 12.5 percent for team advisors 10 percent for staking rewards 32 percent for ecosystem which i think is quite a lot however we do want to see major developments within the ecosystem because then that could obviously raise the token price and obviously attract more users Users. Now we've got 8% for marketing, I think that is a good small amount, and the total 100% is 50 billion tokens. So, I think these are fantastic tokenomics. I think that we could easily see Pika Moon do a 10x at launch. In my personal opinion, that is not financial advice. From the get-go, guys, there's going to be a 0% tax on Pika purchases. However, there will be a small 2.5% transaction tax on sale orders. Therefore, if you're going to be buying and selling and trying to make profits and doing that, then you're going to obviously have to wait for it to go up 2.5% and beyond if you want to make your money back and break even or even make profit for that matter. However, the tax revenue distribution is fantastic because we're going to be burning tokens along the way, making the token more scarce. 1% of the tax revenue goes over to the ecosystem development fund and play to earn rewards for those who are playing the game and then 1% for the marketing endeavors to keep pushing the game to millions of users. Now tell me guys that this game doesn't look absolutely superb. Another thing we're going to look at is the NFTs for those who want to get to know them better before they begin. We've got the Sorcro which is the wind powered NFT. He's got shifting winds, air wrap, air strike and wing lash. Obviously this Pika Moon would be good against your fire NFT. With water you can take a look at the water NFTs you got all of these guys would have different move sets and abilities all of which can be upgraded to be better than your enemy now one more thing before we go guys is the roadmap so if you want to take a look at how it all started it began in 2022 they set up their AAA mobile game and now if we look over to the future we're finishing the final phase of the pre-sale we are now getting ready for a tier one centralized exchange listing we're getting ready for nft integration into the peakiverse so the integration of our unique nfts is one of the most anticipated events on our roadmap these nfts are not just collectibles but the cornerstone of the pika moon gaming experience they will unlock new dimensions in the peak allowing players to fully engage with our play to earn model and explore the vastness of our gaming world with unique abilities and privileges. We're also going to have multi-chain wallet integration, a gateway to inclusivity, which I think this is an essential if we're going to be onboarding Web3 users. And then of course, guys, we've got the release of the open world metaverse, which in my opinion is going to be the most exciting, anticipated thing within the roadmap. So the launch of the open world metaverse is set to be groundbreaking. This will release the mark of the transition of Pika Moon from a concept to a living, breathing universe. The open world metaverse will offer an immersive gaming experience where players can explore, interact, and create in ways never before possible in the play to earn space guys that is exciting because i think that we're going to see some huge adoption when it comes to this this will be like a 3d higher graphic version of pokemon one that we've all wanted since we were kids 
depending on what generation you were born in, obviously. However, I'm seeing big things for that metaverse. And then obviously the last thing on their roadmap at the moment are esports tournaments, which I think this would be a good thing to add. However, not a priority. Now, personally, I think this is cool because it will attract top tier professional gamers, which will then obviously onboard millions of other gamers because these gamers are streamers and streamers have a lot of fans and fans obviously start playing what the streamers are playing. So I think this will be good for adoption as well. That is no doubt. And I think we see a lot of big things coming for Pika Moon. In a way, it's very unique because no one else has done it. We've all been looking for a Pokemon, but on the blockchain and finally guys the time has come now my friends like i said i'm going to leave all the official links down below to the pika moon website to the pika moon x page and if you want to learn more about the pika moon pre-sale and exchange listing you can actually read an article on medium here which tells you everything that you need to know now, I won't go through all of this because it's very in-depth. However, you might want to give this a read because it has got some good information in it. My friends, that's basically it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. Don't forget, this is a sponsored video by Pika Moon, and we currently have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading, and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies, and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below it's simple if you need help finding the right crypto gems then follow us on twitter at alt crypto gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews crypto guides and more thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative until next time dgens